Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this copycat Chipotle steak bowl. I am not joking when I say this tastes just like the burrito bowls at Chipotle. I'm super excited to show you guys how to make this, so let's get started with the video. In a blender, add one can of Chipotle peppers with adobe sauce. Then add half a red onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, four teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of olive oil. Now blend everything together for about one to two minutes. Then add a half a cup of water. After you've added your water, you're going to want to blend everything together for about one to two minutes. Next, place your steak in a Ziploc bag and then pour your marinade in that same bag. Close the Ziploc bag and then make sure that your steak is covered in the marinade. After you've done that, place the bag in your fridge for 6 hours or overnight. Now we're going to prep our ingredients while the steak is marinating in the fridge. First, dice a red onion. a red tomato, some cilantro, Then shred a head of lettuce, now we're going to prep our poblano pepper. Cut the stem off, then cut it in half and remove the seeds. Then cut those two pieces in half. Brush your peppers in olive oil. Then grill your peppers skin side down over medium or medium high heat. You're actually supposed to grill the peppers but I don't have a grill so I just cooked it on a pan. Cook your peppers for about 5 minutes or until charred but still firm. Allow the peppers to cool, peel the charred skin off, 
and then dice your peppers. Next, juice limes until you get a half a cup of lime juice. After you've juiced your limes, cut open and de-seed two avocados and place them inside a bowl. Now that we've finished prepping all of our ingredients, we can begin making our chipotle toppings. We're going to start by making our guacamole. Mash the avocados in the bowl. I like to use a potato masher for this instead of a fork. Then add 1 to 2 tablespoons of lime juice, 1 fourth cup of diced red onions, 1 tablespoon of diced jalapenos, a half a teaspoon of salt, and 1 tablespoon of cilantro. Mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your guacamole to the side. Next, in another bowl, add your diced tomato, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of lime juice, one tablespoon of cilantro, one fourth cup of diced red onions, and one tablespoon of diced jalapenos. Then mix everything until well combined. When you're finished, set your tomato salsa to the side. Now we're going to make our corn salsa. In a bowl, add one can of corn, then add two tablespoons of your poblano chili peppers, one tablespoon of diced jalapenos, one tablespoon of cilantro, one fourth cup of diced red onions, two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil, 2 tablespoons of lime juice, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then mix all of your ingredients together until well combined. When you're finished, set your corn salsa to the side. Now shred some mozzarella cheese. When you finish shredding your mozzarella cheese, set it to the side. Now we're going to make our rice. Begin by washing two cups of rice. When you finish washing your rice, add three cups of water to your rice. Then add one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of olive oil, and one bay leaf. Then just let it cook in your rice cooker. Once your rice has finished cooking, place it inside a large bowl. Then add 4 teaspoons of olive oil, 2 tablespoons of cilantro, 
and 2 tablespoons of lime juice. Fold your ingredients into your rice until well combined. Now that we've finished making our toppings and our rice, we can go ahead and cook our steak. In an iron skillet over medium-high heat, add olive oil. Once your pan is hot, add your marinated steak. Cook your steak for 5 minutes on each side. Once you've finished cooking your steak on each side, place it inside the oven at 375 degrees for about 6-7 to seven minutes. Once your steak is finished cooking, place it on a cutting board and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Letting your steak rest makes the steak juicier. Now all you have to do is chop your steak into small pieces. We finished making the steak so we can finally assemble our Chipotle steak burrito bowl. And this is the finished result. This came out great. It tasted and smelled exactly like a Chipotle burrito bowl. It did take a really long time to make this, but it was totally worth it. The steak was really well seasoned and it tasted really good. And the toppings tasted just like the ones at Chipotle. Oh, and so did the rice. I'm just really happy with how this turned out. It tasted so good. Chipotle is one of my favorite places to eat, so I'm really happy I made this. And even though I know how to make the copycat version at home, I'm still gonna go to Chipotle and eat their burrito bowls. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!